You don't wanna miss this homeschool system that I use to keep things organized and tidy and to help my children stay on pace. Come on as I lay it out, stretch it out, give it out, share it out. Just, just come on, let's get it. everyone it's dr z if you are here and you've been here we thank you for watching if you're new to the channel i'm just a mama that shares her lesson strategies and resources from blending classroom teaching to now being a homeschool mom in hopes of being able to empower enrich and inspire you today's video is just going to be about sharing a homeschool system that i have found effective i hope that you find something helpful and useful if you do like share and subscribe and we hope you'll come back and tune into the channel all right let's get started all right, so the system that we use to help organize my children's day and to help me to stay organized is called the workbox system. And if you simply Google that, the homeschool workbox system or any of its derivatives, you're going to hear so much information about the different ways to set it up. This was originally designed by Sue Patrick, but there are so many variations and I just want to share one of the ways that we use it. Essentially, the system is in place to help you as a teacher to organize your child's and structure your child's school day while giving them the sense of autonomy or sense of ownership over their learning because they're able to work at their own pace at least in the way that I've designed it and then they have a way of keeping track of what they've accomplished and what they have left to accomplish so if you notice here this is my child's workbox system and I have created one for both of my children you will see videos and I'm sure blogs that deal with one set of work boxes for each child but hey I say whatever works use it don't feel like you have to throw out what you've been doing to accommodate other people's expectations you do what fits you so for my kids I already had these bins from classroom teaching I said let's use it I was given this stand and so I've been using these I used it last year and I've continued to use so what you'll notice about the system, if you notice one of the bins, you will see that it is labeled with a subject, okay? So my kids start their day off with a puzzle or logic problem, something to just get their brains going, something fun that they can do. My daughter, you'll see, she loves puzzles and mazes, and so hers has a sticky note in it for the one that I wanted her to complete uh, for our next homeschool day, and so she can pull that out, and she can do that activity on her own. My son, he's got his bugs, and so we've been working on patterns and math, and so sometimes I'll let the activity activity coincide with what they're doing in another subject so this is just a pattern activity that he's going to do with the bugs and I would allow him to come up with his own pattern after this just something to get his brain going and jump started and you set this up ahead of time and it's almost like its own lesson planning it's almost like it's taking the place of showing you the structure of your lessons notice that the number ones are there you may not be able to see it clear but my daughter colored hers pink and my son used the, uh, a blue color so that was that's what is in uh, uh, the indicator of their actual work box system so that they know that they're going to go grab the number that corresponds to their particular color so every time you see the blue it's for my son and the in the pink um, it's for my daughter so we start off with that subject and once they finish with it they will grab the number and he'll bring it over onto his desk which states completed work and I got this um, idea from JDA another youtuber but you'll see that this uh, is a schedule on their desk that allows them to see how far along they have moved. So he would have completed um, the first one and then when he's finished with that, he will go grab the second bin. And what I love about this system is that it gives your child the sense of independence because there are things that they can do on their own without you and it doesn't wear you down as the mom feeling like you have to do everything, but it allows you to build a process for them to be able to work independently. Then you can see the next bin that they're gonna do is phonics or ELA so my daughter she has a binder by the way isn't this binder just super cute I got it snagged it for like three dollars at Aldi's I so wanted it myself but I said I'm not gonna be selfish and so I gave it to my daughter but this is really a subject that I have to focus on and give intense um, concentration to so for my son I'm gonna have to work with him on reading so this is the time when my daughter can work independently on some of her sight word practice her building her sentences and some of the things 
that she does in this notebook on her own where she has to uh, just practice some of the things that she's learning. While my son can be working on our teacher child to read and 100 Easy Lesson, went through this program with my daughter. She got all the way through it and was very successful with it. And we've started it with my son and have also found him to be successful with the program. So he will grab that out. I'll work with him on that while she's working on her phonics and her language arts. Okay. And then once again, as I said before, they will pull this off and then you'll be able to track their progress. And because we're on a block schedule, and I'll talk a little bit about that on another video, um, they have a given amount of time to get all of this complete, but they can work at their own pace knowing that they have to accomplish that task. And what's great is that you can start and organize it by subjects that may be a little bit more difficult if you find that your child needs to do something early in the day because of the, the challenge there may be. So for my son, we're beginning reading. Of course, that's not something that I wanna wait until the end because I don't wanna be trying to pull from him at a place where he's not at his best and most optimum learning. So I will do the reading in the beginning after he he's done something kind of interesting to him, then we'll do the reading. But then I've put further down a, a handwriting, which is something a little more intense for him because he's just learning it. But then he knows that math is coming, which is his thing. He loves to do the hands-on manipulatives and things of that nature. So bin number three is handwriting. My daughter saw me writing the other day and was really interested in starting cursive. And so she is doing cursive, prescripts, cursive writing and coloring. This coloring world history actually coincides with our classical conversations. Um, work that we do. The history uh, timeline is the same as some of the pictures in here, which you'll see in our typical Hope School day. My son has his book. He's doing letters and numbers, and then he also has to copy his phonics words from that particular day. There are some boards in here. These are so old, so bear with me, but they're just something I got from the dollar store just to help them reinforce their alphabet if they are writing and they don't know it. They look at this board. It shows them how to be able to create it. Before they need my help, they can go to another resource, and that's a strategy that I also use that I'll talk about in a future video but once they're done again they're gonna pull that strip off and then they're managing and keeping up with their own schedule of work next bin is math my, my kiddos are doing Singapore math and we are finishing up actually this book of it and uh, I'll do a review on that in the future and then my son has his packet as well and so they're working on that and again that's an activity I do with them because we use some hands-on manipulatives so that's something we're doing together. Okay, so their final bin, bin number five, used to be our fun bin where I used to put play mats and play-doh and paint. Every day was a different activity, but since we have joined a community once a week this year, we are doing CC Review, which for them is so much more exciting even than when we used to do some of our fun activities because it's a very sing-songy way of just reinforcing the things that they've learned in their community day. So here I've just got their ancient history timeline cards, which we use, and then their apps for geography. But these are just things that just are used more or so to reinforce some of the things that we've done through their community day and they love this and it seems like a lot of bins but really they have about four hours to complete all of this work I am helping them and guiding them along the way and I want y'all to think at five and four they're just being like go for it cast your nets into the wind okay but anyway so they are getting some time with me but this also just allows them to feel like wow I'm accomplishing something mommy look what I've done look what I did on my own look what I did with just minimal support and using some resources that were available. So again, they would take that off. So when it's all said and done, it will look like this. And what's great about this is that as my son is sitting here at his desk, he doesn't have to ask me, mommy, what am I doing next? Mommy, I finished with my work. Mommy, I don't know what I'm doing. Can you help me? Because it is laid out from him here. So he knows that once he gets to five, I have completed what was needed for this particular day. And they get so excited about knowing that they have finished and that they have have gone to the end. Next week you will get a video seeing it in its use so you can get a sense of the flow and how it works but leave me a comment below on what do you think of the workbox system and if it's something you have or will use in the future as I'd love to hear how you guys are using it if you are using it. I'll be sure to leave a link in the description box below so that you can see if you're interested in creating this system. It was a simple printable that I printed out laminated and then I just add velcro strips to it. But again this is something that you can use with so many different variations find what works for you and do it please if you like this video like share subscribe and thank you for watching have a blessed day